will begin in just a few ticks of the sundial. Thank you.
please give a royal welcome to our maestro of musical madness, Sir Samuel of Morocco. And now, good gentles all, please welcome those loquacious lovers of legend and law. versatile viscounts of voluminous verbosity as they portray a panoply of personalities under this preeminent proscenium. Please welcome Mr. Smythe and Mr. Jones. Today, welcome to the theater, the famous royal theater, and while we're in the theater, I say let's go play. Using our imagination, as well as good enunciation, together we will be creating a creation that'll take your breath away. That is most hair raising. Oh, well said, Mr. Smythe. For today, we tell the timeless tale of Tango! It's a very special tale of a very special girl. She's full of hopes and dreams, a little something like you. And if she puts some work into it, makes her mind up to pursue it, she can make a wish come true. It may be only hard, but with imagination, some courage and determination. Well, then she just might make it through. For all the world is a stage, my friend. Attend and hark if you may hear to end. And here's one thing on which you can defend. We're gonna make a little magic if you all do your part. We will create a little chronicle of courage and parts. We're gonna tell a tale once upon a time at the start. And there's a Two special guests. Two special guests? Yes. Who's on first? A lovely young lady with golden locks. <gasps> Goldilocks and a three dancing bear! No, 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 no. We don't have three dancing bears. Only two? No. Just one? No. There are no dancing bears. Presenting Goldilocks and no dancing bears! Wait, wait, wait a minute. Hey, wait, maybe wait. they can be the dancing no, bears. Dancing. Here's a mama, here's a papa, no. here's a little baby. <laughs> Jonesy, 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 there are no dancing bears and no Gobi locks, all right? You said a young lady with golden locks. Yes, Rapunzel. Rapunzel doesn't have any dancing bears. No. She's the first guest. Our first guest? Yes. Who's on second? That is the question. I can hardly wait. Good gentles all, it is time to give a warm welcome to our first royal guest. The one. The only. The one and only. Rapunzel! Rapunzel! Princess Rapunzel, we are honored to be in your presence today. Well, we are most delighted that you've accepted an invitation to join us in a live performance of your story. Oh, it's my pleasure. After all, who better to tell the story of Rapunzel than Rapunzel? This is going to be such an adventure. Yes, and remember, we are here to assist you in any way we can. Should you want to know what to stand, we shall show you. Should you want to know what to say, we will tell you. Should you wish to recognize one of us for most outstanding performance by playing a leading role in drama or comedy, we shall leave before you and have a gratitude. I'm sure you'll both be wonderful. Oh, very well, sir. Are you ready? Yes. Then let the play begin. Once upon a time, there was a leading no. show lady named Rapunzel, who lived at the top of a tall, tall tower. From the time I was just a baby, my mother never allowed me to go outside. Each day, Rapunzel gazed out the top of the tower. She wondered, when will my life begin? My dream was to go see the floating lanterns that appeared in the night sky every year on my birthday. Ah, uh, yes, but today, like every other day, Rapunzel's daydreams were interrupted by the sound 
aber von mich hier bloß. Rapunzel! Let down your head! Oh, oh, let me undo that. We did! Wait a minute. You have no idea how long it takes to bring this. Ah, but of course. Stunt hair, please! Oh, what's that? That is a theatrical representation of your hair. Oh, I It's gonna be a tight squeeze, but we're gonna be heading to that spot right down the way. You might want to head through the back aisle here to get there. by all attendants that Mother Gotham was not Rapunzel's real mother. That's right. I was kidnapped by Mother Gotham when I was just a baby. And why was Rapunzel kidnapped? Oh, Mr. Jones! Because of her magic hair. Yes, which keeps Mother Gothel the fairest of them all. Bye! Oh, bye, 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 bye. Rapunzel. Oh, ah, princess. Ah, Rapunzel! Mummy's feeling a bit run down. Why don't you let me brush your hair while Mr. Smite sings your magic song? <laughs> Whenever I sang a magic song, my hair began to shimmer and glow. When it glowed, it kept the gothel young. It its special healing And his gothel brushed the enchanted hair, the years melted away. Like sands through the hourglass, thus were the days of our lives. Thank you, my dear. Oh, ah. Thank you, my dear. Now get me my mirror. Ah. Do you know what I see? I see a strong, confident, beautiful young lady. Oh, look, you're here too. Ah. Realizing this could be her last opportunity, Rapunzel summoned up the courage to ask. Mother, I was wondering. I mean, you know, since it's my birthday tomorrow, <laughs> would you please take me to see the floating lanterns? It's my only birthday wish. Absolutely not, Rapunzel. Oh, 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 sorry, Sir Samuel. Flower, clean and global, let your power shine. Make the clock reverse, bring back what she's like. Poof! I told you, my dear, the world's a dangerous place filled with ruffians and thugs, and that's why I keep you locked up in this beautiful tower. Oh, sorry. Sam, <laughs> power, global, power shine, turn the clock, find my mind. Poof! For your own safety, my dear, you will never, ever, ever leave this tower. Ever. Oh. Trust me, Rapunzel. Mother knows best. Rapunzel was determined to see the floating lanterns. So, she did what any prison 18 year old girl would do. She packed up a frying pan and headed to the window. Looking down, Rapunzel spotted a young man climbing the tower. A stranger! And he pulled himself up into her tower room! Good gentles all! A hearty huzzah for Flynn Rider! Huzzah! Quickly, Rapunzel did what any imprisoned 18 year old girl who just knocked out a climbing stranger would do. <laughs> After that, she went through his belongings, found the royal crown and hit it. Now surely I can convince him to take me to see the floating lanterns. What Rapunzel didn't know was that the crown was stolen. Flynn was a wanted man. There is no way that I will ever, 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 ever take you to see the floating lanterns. No, 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 okay, okay. I'll take you to see the lanterns. Anything to get that crown back. And so Rapunzel let down her hair. <laughs> And down the tower they climbed. Okay, this isn't weird. Climbing down here. And as they scaled down the stone wall, the stranger introduced himself as... Flynn. Flynn Rider. Wow. And before Rapunzel could say... Holy hairbrush, Flynn! We were on the ground and they were off and running on their new adventure! I can't believe I did this! And avoid being arrested by the royal guard, Flynn said, Hey, are you hungry? I know a great place for lunch. And thus he led the way to the Snuggly Duckling Tavern. Which, as it turns out, was filled with ruffians and thugs. Hello. Whoa! Would you look at this bunch? What a mean looking bunch of ruffians and thugs. Would you look at that guy? Never trust anybody in the mustache. Especially the mustache. And don't be fooled by this princess costume. Princess 
seen this one on the kingdom's most wanted list. You know, I think it'd be a whole lot safer if we just turned around and got you back home. What do you say, Blondie? Let's get you back to that tower and get that crown, huh? Excuse me. <laughs> Are you Flynn Rider? Do I look like Flynn Rider? What do you think? Does he look like Flynn Rider? Yeah! 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 Oh, 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 oh. Give me back my stranger! Oh. I need him to take me to see the floating lanterns. It's my dream. Aww. Do any of you ah! have a dream? I had a dream once. I've got a dream. I've got a dream. See, I ain't as cruel and vicious. As I see. Oh, though I do like breaking fingers, you can help me with the dreams. Like everybody else, I've got a dream. Hey, I've got a dream. Take it away, fellow ruffians. I've got scars and lumps and bruises And something here that oozes And let's not even mention my complexion But despite my extra toes And my goiter and my dose I really want to make a love connection He's got a dream He's got a dream She's got a dream To see the floating lanterns And with every passing hour She's so glad she left her tower Like all you lovely folks She's got a dream Yes, we got me Maximus, horse of the royal guard, and he's after me! <laughs> Follow me. There's a cigarette passing. Oh, <laughs> 
Rapunzel! 
the legend, Sir Samuel of Morocco. <laughs> Thank you.